Barry, if we can start with the injury situation, what shapes the squad looking ahead of the game? Um, not too bad. Um, we've uh, obviously from the, from the other night when we we bumps and bruises at this moment in time, but. Um, I think Sam Slocum will still be missing at the weekend, but uh, apart from that, you know, we're, we're not looking too bad at all. Yeah, obviously, Sam missed out Tuesday night. What's the news there? Yeah, just a, he's got a bit of a tight fight and with his kicking muscles, so we just got to make sure that, um, you know, he didn't go any further and for, for him to be out for a long period of time. So he, he's had it before in his career, so he quickly sort of like stated to us that you know he didn't want to be rushing it and making it worse which is what I think happened last time too so you know hopefully he'll only be he should be available after this weekend looking back on Tuesday night great character and spirit to fight back yeah. to 2-2 yet obviously on the full time whistle you round the players and you see that they're not satisfied and frustrated and that must be really good as a manager to see that yeah I think so I think um, we've you know we challenged them after the weekend in terms of desire and I think you saw the response that they gave. Um, it was there for all to see. You know, like I say, the last two games we've been pegged back from being two nil up, and uh, to then be two nil down, they could have quite easily lay down and die. But not this group, and that's the that's the thing that we've got to use the the, the catalyst from how we come back on 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 Tuesday to you know finish the season as strong as we possibly can now. Malcolm this weekend, yeah. obviously one of the informed sides in the division. Yeah, um, I mean, first and foremost. Uh, you know, the man's unbelievable, Jim Bentley, for what he's done. I said it to you at the start of the season when we played him. He is an example of where you've got clubs in higher leagues that just, I don't know what they do, I don't know what they're looking for when they pick these managers. Because here's someone that's done it for five, six years at a club with limited resources, but you never hear him moaning. He gets on with it, keeps producing players, keeps producing a way of playing. Keeps producing a team full of spirit, and and you know you have to take your hat off to him because it's a, it's a marvelous achievement. And you know this year with all the adversity that you've heard around the wages not being paid, doesn't affect him on the pitch, and that's that's credit to the manager and, and his staff.